Hey, this is Matthew Armstrong. And I'm Victoria White. And welcome to day 25 of our 100 day juice feast. So 25 days done, that's a quarter of the juice feast completed. And uh, you know, it's, it's uh, psychologically, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great milestone because it's just like, oh, well, it's only, what we've already done, there's only three more of them to go. And uh, you know, sure we can do it, of course we can. We're, we're already up there on that on that high plane and uh, you know things are going great there's st still still little bits of cleansing going on you know the nervous system still releasing old memory pattern patterns um, emotions dense e energy emotions that are stuck in the joints and the muscles and things all those things still have to come out and uh, you know it, that, that will continue to happen and um, maybe not as, as intensely as it has before but maybe it will who knows you know it's a it's a journey of discovery and uh, this hundred days is, is a real a journey of discovery of the self and a transformation and a more of an, of an awakening and a, a rising up to a, to a new level. You know, the, the whole system of the, the body and the mind, you know, it's not a mechanical system, it's, it's like on the quantum level, it's, a, you know, it's an open system and it reorganizes. And the, you know, through this 100 days, uh, that your, your system reorganizes at new higher levels at, at different times and you, you go into chaos at times and uh, that chaos is uh, is always you know it, it it's always moving towards the reorganization of a grander version of yourself um, a, a more evolved version of yourself so that's really kind of how it works and that's what you know i'm feeling that i'm going through now um after through now after the you know the first 21 days where there's a lot of uh, physical and a lot of like you know ten intense emotions and uh, now it's more subtle but I can still feel it uh, definitely working and happening on a daily basis um, so let's let's see what's in the juice today check it out so we managed to get some good organic produce today you can see the, the cucumbers here they're organic they're just so much more vibrant and uh, delicious looking you just you just see the energy around them when something's organic and when it's not um, we also have uh, broccoli, powerhouse for food broccoli, you always want to be eating that at least once a week. Um, again, we've got ginger, uh, ginger great for the blood and everything, great for the circulation. Um, we're just really enjoying the ginger at the minute, so we're going to put that in as well. Um, we've got some so again, certified organic lemons, so we'll put them in for peel on because the peel is good for you. Um, you know, put it into a juice and then you don't taste the peel if you don't like to just eat peel, you know. Most people don't. But you can grate peel onto things as well. Um, yeah, so put it on for peel. If it's not organic, then peel it uh, because the pesticides do go in and you don't want to be getting pesticides. Uh, I've got some green apples and also red apples. The, the guy at the market assured us these are the best apples ever, so check them out. And we also have uh, cilantro. Cilantro, you know, very alkalizing, great liver cleanser. And I'm going to put some of that in. And uh, the most amazing lettuce you've ever seen in your whole life. Check that out. Super, super high energy alkalizing. You can just see that the energy field around this lettuce. You know, that's what you want. That's the raw living foods that you want to be taking, not the dead stuff. Okay. So I have to say that uh, that lettuce that we got today, it's, it's kind of spicy. It's really, really strong. And it gives the, the juice a real zing. And it, it's real good. And uh, you know, even if the juice is really strong, that's a good thing. You don't want to be having too much sweetness in your juice. Uh, you want to be having lots of greens in there. You know, some uh, you know herbs and things. Uh, you know, the bitter the better. You know, because that's where the, the real deep healing happens. Did you want to share, Victoria? Sure. So today I've been having uh, experiencing some quite a bit of gurgling or noises from my intestines. A little bit of a sort of pain in my stomach, so um, I'm all, I'm all right, but just interesting. And um, but but apart from that, mentally and clarity-wise, I've been feeling really good and got lots of work done. So all good. All right, so let's. We've got your yoga posture for today. This is the third of the five Tibetans. So let's do that. So I was going to chat about little Rose here because she just came up to. Uh, to, to see us here and I think she wanted to be on camera and I think she wanted us to chat about her because uh, she's an amazing amazing putty cat Rosa say hi to everybody hey yeah this is Rosa she's an amazing girl she's only how old are you Rosa she's, a, she's not even two years old she's not even two years old and she's already had three kittens and she's brought the three of them up really wonderfully but the story I'm going to tell you about Rosa it's a great little inspiring story 
of her of her attitude never to give in or give up so she came to the house and um, my, my, my mother was here and she kept on coming up to the house looking for food because there's other cats here but she was wearing a collar and because she was wearing a collar uh, my mother thought that she belonged to somebody else so my mother wouldn't feed her she wouldn't let her in the house or anything like that and but she kept on coming up and uh, my, my mom who loves cats said there's no way I can let her in because you know she's got a collar on she belongs to somebody else and it's not fair on those people if, if she leaves them and comes here because she gets better food or something so she, my mom did everything to get her away you know she actually even like took like glasses of water and like threw them at her and um, you know, not the glass but threw the water over her you know, everything pushed her out the door shut the door in her face took the food away from her when she came into the house and tried to eat the food um, you know all, all these things but the cat just kept on coming back kept on coming back no matter what no matter how many times that door got closed in her face how many times the food got taken from under her when she sneaked in and uh, she kept on coming back over and over again and uh, and then my, my mom realized that this cat's just not going away so she she then said okay decided to feed her uh, found out a while after that she was actually pregnant at the time um, about to give birth to some kittens and uh, she also also found out that the people who she belonged to abandoned her and left the country and just left her there but didn't take her collar off she was so she was an abandoned kitten and uh, not even a year old and was about to give birth to three kittens herself and uh, just her attitude of keep on kept on keep on coming back that she eventually got in that door and uh, she then had the kittens brought up the kittens really well she only kitten herself she brought up the three kittens really 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 well they're all those three kittens are now grown up cats and uh, now they all live here you know happily ever after and the reason they've got such an amazing life now is because of her attitude her her love for her kittens to bring them into the world and, and bring them and have give them a good life so I just thought that's an amazing story about Rosa and you know it's something that, like a metaphor that can be used for for all of us in life you know if, if it doesn't matter how many times the door gets closed in our face how many times we get denied our dreams get denied you know as long as we keep going as long as we keep going and um, eventually eventually we'll get there okay so that's a little story about Rosa I did promise it in an earlier video and uh, so let's do a yoga posture <coughs> so this one we're on our knees and then uh, we put our toes into the ground so we're not like so the toes are up like this here we're straight up put the hands at the back here and uh, from here we're facing forward we bring the chin down to the chest and from here we're breathing in push all the way back and look all the way back breathe out come straight back up chin back down to the chest and you're going to do this seven times Breathe in, out, 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 breathe in, out. Okay, so the head movement is important. I know there's uh, some people who have taken these, these five Tibetans, these five rites of rejuvenation, and uh, they, they've modified them. And they said they don't want to get people, have people that have neck injuries, so they've done them without moving the neck. And in my opinion, my understanding of how it all works um, on a, you know, an energetic level, on the nervous system, and how the, you know, it's affecting the brain and everything, is that it's really important to, uh, to, to do the neck movements. Um, you know, if you do have a, you know, neck problems, obviously just go easy on them. Or if your neck is stiff, go really easy on them. Um, but in my, my, my opinion, my understanding is that the neck movements are vitally important with the five Tibetans. And I can talk about that more in depth in a future video, what, why, why I, I believe that. So again, with, with all the Tibetans, is work up slowly. You know, start at you know three maybe three um, or seven if you already practice yoga and things like that you know maybe start at seven you can do that and um, but if you're not used to this sort of thing then just start at three and uh, work it up like that so remember do number one number two then this one number three 
and tomorrow we'll have number four for you and then the next day number five and then there's a secret coming on day six. So appreciate you subscribing and commenting. You know, keep up to date, keep coming back to the, the channel and checking out the videos. And uh, you know, thanks again for posting them on Facebook and the social media as well. That's that's fantastic. It really gets the word out there, um, and you know, gets the word of you know health and uh, energy and vitality and well-being. You know, that's what it's all about. If you don't have well-being, what have you got? Nothing. Okay, that's us, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks very much. My name is Matthew Armstrong, and I'm Victoria Whitehead. See you tomorrow.